is it possible to create molecules that start approaching this question that we started this conversation, which which is the origin of life, so to start to create molecules that have lifelike qualities. So have the replication, have like complex, start to create complex organisms. So we have done this with the oxides I talked about earlier, with the molybdenum oxides and the rings and the bulls. And the problem is that, that well, they, are, they do, they autocatalytically enhance one another. So they would, I guess you would call it self-replication. But because there's limited um, function and mutation, they're pretty dumb. So they don't do very much. So I think the prospect of us being able to engineer a nanomaterial, a nanomaterial life form in the short term, like I said earlier, my aim is to do this, of course. I mean, I'm, you know, on one hand, I'm saying it's impossible. On the other hand, I'm saying I'm doing it. So which is it, Lee? You know, it's like, yeah. uh, well, like, we're, I think we can do it, but only in the robot. So the causal chain that's going to allow it is in the robot. These particles, if they do start to self-replicate, the system's going to be so fragile mm -hmm. that I don't think anything dangerous will come out. And it doesn't mean we shouldn't treat them as potentially, you know, um, I mean, I don't want to scare people like gain of function. We're going to produce stuff that comes out. Our number one kill switch is that we always try to search a space of objects that don't exist in our reality, don't exist in the environment. So even if something got out, it just would die immediately. It's like making a silicon life form or something, or, uh, you know. Which is the opposite of uh, oftentimes gain of function research is focused on like, how do you get a, a dangerous thing to be closer to something that works with humans, yeah. So and there, have it jump to humans. So that's a one. That's a one good mode to operate on is always try to operate on chemical entities that are very different than uh, the the kind of chemical environment that humans operate in. Yeah, and and also, I mean, I'll say something dramatic, which may not be may not be true. So I should be <laughs> careful. If, let's say, we did discover a new living system and it was made out of a, a shadow biosphere and we just released it in the environment, who cares? It's going to use different stuff. It'll just live. Just live, yeah. I, I found one of my biggest fantasies is actually is like a planet that's basically half in the sun. It doesn't rotate, right? And, mm -hmm. and you have two different origins of life on that planet and they don't share the same chemistry. And then the only way time they recognize each other is when they become intelligent. They go, well, what's that moving? Yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder so they, they co-evolve and that's fascinating. I mean, so one fascinating thing to do is exactly what you were saying, which is a life bomb, yeah. which is like try to focus on atmospheres or um, chemical conditions of other planets and try within this kind of uh, uh, the exploration optimization system tried to discover life forms that can uh, work in those conditions and then you send those life forms over there uh, and yeah. see what kind of stuff they build up like you can do like a large scale it's kind of a safe physical environment to do large scale experiments it's another planet yeah so look I'm going to say something quite contentious I mean Elon wants to go to Mars I think it's brilliant he wants to go to Mars but I would counter that and say do, is Elon just obsessed with getting humanity off Earth? Or what about just technology? So if we do technology, so so Elon either needs to take a computer to Mars because he needs to manufacture drugs, right, on yeah. demand, right? Because you zero cost payload and all that stuff is just yeah. code. Or what we do is we actually say, hang on, it's quite hard for humans to survive on Mars. Why don't we write a series of origin of life algorithms where we put our cult, embed our culture in it, right? It's yeah. a very Ridley spot, Prometheus, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is a terrible film, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> uh, um, and dump it on Mars and just terraform Mars. And what we do is we evolve life on Mars that is suited to life on Mars. Yeah. Rather than brute forcing human life on Mars. 